Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we are finally unboxing a BoxyCharm. Uh, it's been a minute since I posted a video unboxing BoxyCharm, and I talk about it during my video, why I didn't unbox last month, but this month, for March, I have two. I have the Premium and the Lux. I have been getting BoxyCharm for two years, and I love it. It's one of my favorite subscriptions. Uh, I also have Ipsy, but I haven't gotten that one in this month. So we unboxed BoxyCharm, and then using the products that I got in my BoxyCharm is how I got this look. I love it because you get skincare, you get makeup, you get full-size products, and it's usually over $200, but I only pay a small fee. I'll put the information down below. Make sure to check it out down there, especially if you wanna try out BoxyCharm. If you are just getting into makeup, like this is a good way to do it. Uh, usually I get an eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. Today we got like some really good skincare, uh, face products, eyeshadow, like I love BoxyCharm. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications and new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. But if you wanna see what products I got, and BoxyCharm, and what I use to get this look from my BoxyCharm, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, it's been a while since I've done a BoxyCharm unboxing, but I love getting my BoxyCharm subscription. This month, I got the Premium Box and Lux, and they both are supposed to have different products in it, but what I wanna do is unbox both of them and then based on the products that are in the box, try them on, use them on camera with you guys and do a makeup look using the products from BoxyCharm. So the first one that we have, this is, should be the premium one. Yep, things are flying. It's like I forgot how to do this. So this month is BoxyCharm Lucky. I love that they have the cards in there. It tells you exactly what's in the box. It tells you how much it costs and different details about it because sometimes there's products and brands in here that I've never heard of before. So it definitely helps me out without having to look up on Sephora or Ulta or the brand's website. So the first thing that I have in here, this is the Beauty Diva London. These go for $48. It is an eye brush set. So, let's see, I've never actually used anything from this brand. Okay, those are really, let's see. So you're actually supposed to wash your brushes before you use them. Um, I actually have a color switch, but that's not gonna sanitize them. They're very interesting. There's like a thick acrylic plastic so this one doesn't tell you what it is. This one kind of looks like an angled crease brush. Let's see. Then you have, let me just unpackage all of them. All right, so you have what looks like an angled liner brush. It's very interesting. It's very thin. A shader brush, a angled crease brush, and then you have this brush. I've never used one of these really. Um, I would say it's good for probably packing on some eyeshadow and then fluffing it out or smudging it out, but those are super cute. I don't know that I need more brushes. I always get brushes from BoxyCharm. I have a very, uh, I have a big collection of brushes, but we'll use these today, try them out. Next in here, oh, ooh, there is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. So I think I've used this like probably two or three years ago um, when I still was kind of like, I needed a silicone-based smoothing primer. Um, 
Don't mind me, I self tanned in like, I'm not sure that I like the self tanner that I used. It kind of like, don't mind it. Um, this goes for $35. It's supposed to make you 100% smoother, radiant, hydrated, um, and 100% appearance of a full night's rest, which I need because I only get sometimes like five hours of sleep. But it's been a long time since I've used this, so I'm interested to see if I still like it. Huh. So we've got primer. Good thing I didn't do any of my makeup. Next we have a Dose of Colors eyeshadow. This is the single eyeshadow, they go for $20. This is in the shade Reflection. Actually, I have a Dose of Colors. Oh, this is Caffeine Queen. If it was the same one, I was just gonna pass it on to somebody else. All right, so this is Reflection and, ooh, that is really pretty. That would be, like if I did a smoky eye, it was a really pretty eyeshadow topper. Or maybe not. Not so much a topper. It's got some shades of silver in there. That is really pretty. All right, so we've got eyeshadow, we've got primer. Bite Beauty Outburst Long Wear Lip Stain <laughs> in the shade Orange Fizz. So Bite Beauty, this goes for $27. I don't know about Orange Fizz. Orange is not, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna pass this on. Um, orange is just not the color that I, like, I would go for. So I don't wanna use it, especially cause I'm trying to go through my makeup, getting ready for a move, and I'm gonna pass this on. We have the Kypris Illumination and Active Shimmer. There is an illuminating eye serum and primer and a shimmer palette, active illumination for eyes and body. Okay, so this, this retails for $145. What? All right, so this is the illuminating primer. I guess I'll have to try this out. I usually use my P. Louise eyeshadow base, but we'll try this out since they sent it. So we've got a face primer, we have an eye primer, and then is this an eyeshadow palette? Let's see. Oh no, this is like a, I would say this is more like a highlighter palette. I might use it for like the inner corners of my eyes, but not like, I wouldn't do a metallic eyeshadow look. Those are really pretty though. Let's see, this rose gold shade is, ooh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's more of like a highlighter palette. <gasps> Whoa, that one was, that was the icy white one. Wow. That was Diamond Fire, this shade right here. Wow, all right, we'll, we'll try it, we'll see. And then the last product in the premium box, this is IGK, I really like IGK products. This is their Prenup Instant Spray Hair Mask. What? High powered in shower treatment performs like a traditional hair mask but works in under a minute. A multitasking mix of moisturizers including amla oil and replenishing kupuaku butter, deep condition repair and strengthen hair. It's 360 sprays, simple application ensures hair is coated evenly every time, leaving hair looking and feeling soft, smooth, and shiny from roots to ends. Okay, this retails for $32. I use their dry, what is it, their charcoal dry shampoo, which I really like, so I'm excited to try this out. I'll have to try it in the shower. Hmm. All right, so we'll set that aside. All right, so from this we have the primer, 
the eyeshadow primer, an individual eyeshadow, and the brushes. So let me set premium off to the side. And then we'll unbox. All right, so Lux feels a lot heavier. Um, I didn't get the base box. I really only do the premium or the Lux just because I don't need three boxes. I probably don't need two boxes, but I really like BoxyCharm. So this one, same theme, <laughs> a bigger card, um, and prices. All right, ooh, so the first thing I see in here, there is the Barbarella eyeshadow palette. One, like, if the colors inside are this pretty, like, sleeve is gone. I don't keep these sleeves. Does anyone else keep these sleeves? Like, I really have to be drawn to something to keep them. Oh, no, it's, I mean, it's not bad, but that's the color story. I was expecting something more like bold and vibrant, not a bunch of neutrals. There are a lot of shimmers in here though. There's a lot of shimmers. This actually retails for $50. Okay. This is from, actually, what's the brand? B Beauty London. Jet Meld Color delivers intense saturated color. Light reflective sheens with velvety finishes, gorgeous gold, pretty pearls, and frosted greens. Okay, ooh, this one, Kofi. They're so buttery and smooth. Ooh, that is really pretty. Or Brad, who's Brad? It's like a coppery red. Those are really pretty. Hmm. Ooh, those are really pretty. They're these shades right there. Hmm. Okay. I'm a little surprised. So now we have an eyeshadow palette to play with. Let's see. I always like that there's like padding in here. So I was going to do my BoxyCharm unboxing for February, but when I received my box, uh, one of the products in it was broken. Like it, the bottle, ha it was made of glass and it was just smashed. Um, I let them know and customer service, they told me that they couldn't replace the product itself, but they were able to give me credits to use towards a different product of my choosing. So that was really cool and they were really quick to respond. So BoxyCharm does take care of you when you contact them and let them know that something was damaged in shipping, just send them a picture, send them the order number and they will take care of it. But I love that about BoxyCharm. That was the first time I'd ever, in a year and a half, had an issue with a package, but it happens. Ooh, the next thing we have, AMNH Skincare, Amina. So if you look at the website, it tells you it's Amina Skincare. Kiss the Stars 24 karat Gold Lip Plumping Mask with biodegradable glitter, gives you moisture and, and nourishes your lips. With a, It does say there's a tingling sensation, so I'm gonna tell you that right now. This retails for $42. Um, so I already did a lip mask. I usually do those first thing in the morning. I'll do a lip mask, brush my teeth, and then do the rest of my skincare. So I will try this out tomorrow. Let's see, next we have a rose quartz hair mask. This is from Rosen Quartz. Okay, that's a brand. So this is $31. 0% um, sulfate, sodium chloride, parabens, pegs, or phthalates. Suits all hair types and is safe for use with all chemical processes. Vegan and certified cruelty-free, made in the USA. That's really cool. Let's see. I like to smell my hair products. Like, anyone else? Ooh, that, that smells, like it's subtle, but it smells so yummy. Kind of, like you kind of get a rose scent, but not like too overpowering. Okay, I'm excited to try this out. That will go down there with IGK. All right, next we have, ooh, okay. So I love, love Glow Recipe. Um, I have, I actually use their, um, hydrating face spray 
I use that, I just actually use that. But this is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Concentrated for Formula is your go-to serum for plump, radiant skin. Uh, Silky Water Gel Serum features a unique blend of three types of plum, hyaluronic acid, and vegan collagen. Formula contains five weights of hyaluronic acid to target different layers of the skin for deep hydration. And retails for $42. So, before moisturizer, which I already did my moisturizer. I smell it. Ooh, that packaging is so cute. <laughs> it just, it kind of reminds me of a little plum. It's so cute. Okay, so it's got the little pump. Oh, it smells so, it kind of smells like plum. Cute. I'm going to have to try this out. I really, like, I wanted to try it, but I haven't purchased it because I have a lot of skincare. So now, because I have it, I might as well try it. Nice. Especially in the winter, I need hyaluronic acid. I need it. Then, there's a couple more things in here. So, we have... Ooh, Dominique Cosmetics Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner. This is in the shade Crush, which looks like my shade. Ooh, yes. This retails for $18. And it's like my shade of mauve pink. Yes. That is beautiful. We will be trying this out as well. Hmm. Next, ooh, all right, Beauty Bakery. These are the blending eggs. So I usually use a beauty blender. Let's see where this is. But, okay, first off, can we talk about how cute the packaging is? It's so cute, it's a carton of eggs. There are six makeup sponges. Okay, so these actually retail for $18. Wait. I think a beauty blender is $18 or $20. You get six of them for $18. This is so cute. <laughs> and it makes it easy to store your blending sponges. Oh my God, look at, <laughs> those are so cute. I'm gonna use one of these during uh, makeup. I already dampened my beauty blender, but you know what? I'm gonna try one of these out. So I will leave one of these out. Off to the side, those down there. Next thing we have in here, I love this foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade 210, which I think I use 200. I do, I have 200, which is fine. Is this gonna be a little bit darker? I think, so that was one of the things when um, the box, there's usually like a preliminary. There is one more item in here. This is the Soleil Mini Heat Brush. Apricot. Oh, this is the color. This is so cute. It's got this little own carrying bag. I thought about buying a heat brush, but I guess I don't need to anymore. Now I have one. Oh, and it's so, like, it's nice, compact, and handheld. That is so cute. Okay. This, where'd my card go? This retails for $150. And I don't think I said how much the Fenty Beauty Foundation goes for. That goes for $36. Okay. That is crazy. I want to try this out so much. Uh, so I'll try it out and let you guys know. Maybe uh, by the time I do my next video, we'll see. This looks really interesting. It looks like all of these because like they don't really bend. Looks like all of them have heating uh, elements in them. Huh, we'll see. We will try this out. Where is the bag for it? You know what? I usually tell you guys like how much the boxes were worth. And I usually, I think they only cost like the premium, I think is like $25 and the Lux is like 30 or $35, but you always get like over 
$200 worth of stuff. I mean, that heating brush was already $150. All right, so let's add this up real quick. Where is my wallet? Or my calculator. Okay, so we'll start with the premium first. So 145 plus 35 plus 27, 48, 32, and 20. So the premium box was actually $307. Are you serious? Like full, full size products, $307. And I literally spent like $25. I will look up exactly how much they cost, put it in the drop down box below. I know, um, they always have like the recommend for a friend link. I'll link boxy charm down below in case you're wanting to subscribe to them. But I mean, I got some great products in that premium box now for Lux. So $50. 42, 36, 31, 150, 18, 18, and 42. This, the Lux box was $387. And so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight full size products for $387, but I only paid like $35. $40 for it. Seriously? And then for premium, one, two, three, four, five, six, six full size products, pay $25, and it was over $300 worth of products. Dang. All right. Okay, you guys. So I went and unboxed the products that I plan on using, made some room on my desk, and now let's get started. All right. So, first off, I'm going to pin my hair back because just threw it on the ground. All right, so first off, I went and dampened my beauty, not beauty blender, uh, sponge from Beauty Bakery, and it is literally twice the size that it was, but it feels, it like, it feels so bouncy and like, it feels nice, it feels nice. All right, so I usually start with my eyes, so we're gonna try out this eye serum and primer from Kypris. Ooh. It's, it has a makeup scent. Like I'm not like super, it's weird. So it says you're supposed to put this, gently pat a thin layer around eye. So I'm going to use my ring finger because it's supposed to be the best finger as far as like applying a serum or your makeup because it's not going to have as much pressure as the rest of your fingers. I mean, it feels nice. It feels nice. It the scent was not what I was expecting. I mean, it's makeup. I don't. I guess I don't know what I was expecting, but all right. Tried that out. We'll see. Next, I think I'm gonna go into the Barbarella palette. This is more on the neutral side. I'm really sorry, you guys. I can just keep doing neutral eye looks. I'm. So sorry for that. I know I started out with like really bright colored uh, eyeshadow looks on my channel, but we'll get back into it, I swear. Uh, I'm planning on decluttering my eyeshadow palettes and everything today. I will film that. Um, it should be up in the next couple weeks or whatnot. But once I go through all of those, I'll have a better idea of like what I'm keeping, what, I'm, what I wanna use next. I'm gonna start planning out my videos. All right, so we're gonna jump into the shade Oliver. It's just more of like a tan color, good for the crease. Um, there is a mirror, which is nice. I appreciate a good mirror. This palette is ginormous though. All right, so we're just gonna, oh crap. I got brushes. Let's 
epoxy. We will use this angled crease brush. I don't usually go for like angled crease brushes, so I don't know. I don't like the brush. I'm gonna go back to my brushes. I'll probably wash the brushes and pass them on. Um, I have some friends that are always asking about eyeshadow brushes, but I like what's I like. Mm. <laughs> so if you've heard me before in other videos where I talk about this vein right here, this blue vein popping out is driving me nuts because that serum primer just literally it was like a veil over my eyelids but we're gonna ignore it all right I'm gonna go into this shade hue and I think I'm gonna put buff some of that into the crease and into the outer V it's a very pigmented color we're gonna just pat that on there first. Okay, uh, sure. We're gonna go back into Oliver a little bit and just kind of diffuse out outer edge okay it lightened it up a little bit a little okay I think I'm gonna go into this shade Ryan this shade right here with my compacted shader brush I'm just gonna dip in gently because it's the other shades were very pigmented. I just want to give a nice shadow out here to the lower lash line and the outer V. darken it up too much. Okay. All right. Let's see. I think I think I want to use this champagne shade and just pop that there. That's pretty. That was the shade Nick. It was this shade right here. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Jared on my ring finger. Actually, we're gonna go into Kofi. So this actually has, it looks like pink reflex in it. That is beautiful. Let's see. I really can't apply eyeshadow with my pinky. It's just really weird to me. But just doing all kinds of things I'm not used to today. All right, so with my ring finger, that, oh, that shade. And then we'll go back into Nick and just marry the two.
Although Kofi is very overpowering, it is definitely taking over the look. I'm going to use <laughs> my shader brush and diffuse this out a little bit. And then you can just go back in. There. So you've got the gold here in the center with the white from Kofi and it just kind of, now it's cohesive. I did that with no product on my finger, just patting it in back and forth. Um, really like that. I'm gonna go do that to this, this eye. And I'll be right back. All right, so we got the eyes done. Uh, I like where they're at so far. I know that I have some other eye products that we're gonna use, but now I gotta do complexion. So the Too Faced Hangover Primer that we got, um, I was wondering if I still had a bottle that had been opened, but I think I already, I think I passed that on to somebody else. Um, Cause at the time it just, I think it was the summertime when I tried it and I just wasn't happy with it. But right now my skin is loving hydration. Granted, it is literally 52 degrees outside. I've had my windows open all morning, no heat, no AC on in the house, just windows open, fan on, like I was loving it. Oh, it smells so good. I love this primer. It smells so yummy. It's like the coconut water in it that I think. All right, so it's just kind of like a lotion-y serum type of primer. I think the one reason I didn't, I wasn't like a huge fan of it was one besides it being summer and I didn't need added hydration, but I was super uh, self-conscious of my pores. I mean, I still am, but I mean, I wanted something that like smoothed them more. But I've also gotten into, I mean, it looks smooth. It's not like horrible. It smells good. It is what it is. We'll see if I still like it. Um, but I usually would do something like this along with my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, which is one of my favorites, especially like right around this area and my lines up there. But today we'll see how this hangs and go from there. Now, for foundation, we have the Fenty Pro Filter. This is in shade 210. And my handy dandy foundation brush. It's a good thing I self tan because now it's like closer to that color, but it still isn't the shade that I would go for. Yeah. And I went in with a light layer just because I wasn't sure of the color. Uh, and then you can always add in more. I just don't want to overdo it. I think this will definitely be my shade in the summer when I actually have like more of a tan and my self tan doesn't turn out like this, but I really like this eyeshadow. What the heck is going on? All 
All right, so primer foundation, we're good to go. I don't have any concealer bronze or any of that type of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead, do that, come back, and we will finish the eyes. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, you guys, so I have done everything as far as leaving just the eyes and highlighter left. And that's because, one, I need to do the underneath of the eyes, and then we still have this palette from Kypris. And I really wanna try it out, see what it looks like. All right, so for under the eye, and I don't think I wanna do Oliver because of, it's like a mustardy tan color, but there's really no, like, doesn't really show up on me. So I think I'm gonna go into Hue real quick. Just gently dab in there on my shadow brush. And I think I'm gonna start in this outer V and then drag it underneath. Okay, yeah, that worked. Because that shade is pigmented. All right, we're going to go back into the shade Ryan just to give it some depth. Pat that in the outer V. All right, I think that's as far as we're gonna get with this eyeshadow palette. Now, we're gonna go into the Kypris palette. So I'm looking at the highlighters that I would use and I think I'm gonna dip into Diamond Fire. Like, some glitter is really pretty, but I don't know about a pink, Actually, you know what? Disregard. I'll go in to Sun Glitter just on my cheeks and then I'll use Diamond Fire just as a topper. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's just straight glitter. <laughs> it's just straight glitter. Maybe it's meant to be more like a topper. Yeah, it, this gives me the, it's from Fenty. The diamond, is it diamond bone? Where is it? Um. Remember those drawers from my shop my stash video where I showed you that I have like an abundance of drawers for highlighters? It kind of reminds me of this right here from Fenty. This is the how many carats diamond bomb. Like it's so beautiful and glittery. Like this has that same vibes like on my cheek right here. I don't hate it. It's just not what I thought it was. It seemed more concentrated. I wonder if I just went in with my finger. If yeah, 
so much better. But it also doesn't look pink. Like, I was expecting it because in the pan, it's very like rose gold. But on the skin, it's, it's not giving me that. It's very pretty though. It's just so like glowy. Like I also think it applies better with this brush vice this brush. This is a Luxie tapered highlighter. Like this is specifically supposed to be for highlighter, but no. Like this has been my go-to. This is an Morphe M532 like this has been my go-to highlighter brush for two years now. Anyways, let's finish off the rest of this eye. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Diamond Fire. This is gonna be my inner corner highlight. Yes, that is beautiful. line it's just so icy like so icy and beautiful I like this vibe and then my highlighter brush just dab in a little bit especially because I already did my eyebrows and then I always like I like to do my brow bone highlight and then my eyebrows otherwise I get like glitter fluffed in my eyebrows and it just I'm not going to the nightclub so no one's going to the nightclub apparently. <sighs> Anyways. Anyways. All right, now. I think that was it. I think the rest that I have to do is my eyeliner and mascara. And I will come back and we will do lips on camera because I have a lip liner. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I just finished off my eyeliner, mascara. I did my setting spray. Uh, I unclipped my hair and like, this is the second time that I've like actually curled my hair like this and did a makeup video doing it. Like, I think, I don't know. I'm still getting used to the wavy hair. I've always wanted to like be able to like pull off the beachy waves or whatever, but I think it just changes like, I, I don't know. But I did all this makeup to literally sit here and declutter my makeup next. And um, it's a lot to just sit at home, but I have so much fun playing with makeup. Uh, anyways, I still gotta do the lips. And we have the Dominique Cosmetics Lip Liner. This is in the shade, what did I say the shade was in? Crush, it's in the shade Crush. It's just my like shade of like pinky mauve. So what I think I wanna do is I just wanna do the lip liner as like an all over color. And then I want to use my Fenty Cream. I know I talked about this in one of my videos. Um, and I really like it. So I think that's the vibe today, but Ooh, this feels really nice. Like, I mean, it says it's creamy, but there's been times where products have been deceiving by their name. So it's, it has like a triangular shape, which I think is nice. It's just, I'm not used to it. So it's a little awkward trying to line my lips. But I think if you figure out how to use it, like it's easy. So if I lay it sideways. And 
of course I'm covering my lips trying to put my lip liner on. That would be the mood. This dang mirror, do I have something? No. That is really, really nice. Uh, and why does it look darker right there? There. Literally dropping everything. All right, and then this is the Fenty, Fenty Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. It's just so, it's just so juicy and it smells so good. It's literally the same color, like it's so good. guys like I love the Fenty gloss bombs but then the creams are just so good make sure you get your lipstick off your inner lips so that it doesn't get on your teeth all right you guys that is it for this look um, I love the products that I got from boxycharm I'm still like I'm gonna keep using this one just cuz I've used it before, it was during summer. We'll see how it goes, especially cause it's starting to warm up here. Uh, I like how my skin looks right now. I do feel like my skin looks a little like smooth. I'm not gonna be walking around with a magnifying mirror, so I'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> I know my pores are there, it's just my thing. Anyways, the foundation I think is really pretty uh, since I do have a self tan on so it's close to my color it is a little bit darker than the color that I'm used to but I think in the summer it'll be fine especially when I do have like a self tan or you know just being out in the Sun a little bit more you know now that it's nice out I can just walk around and do things outside um, this primer I don't know that I like it we'll see how my eyeshadow lasts but I might be passing this on to somebody else. It's, it's just, I don't know that it's my thing. This eyeshadow, I don't know that it's an eyeshadow palette, but like definitely it can be used as a highlighter. And I think it's really pretty. Um, I don't know that I need to keep it for all these shades. So I might actually, during my declutter, pass it on. We'll see what happens during that video. And then this eyeshadow palette is really pretty. I like the colors that are in here. I do want to play around with it more. It's definitely like the neutral shades that I would go for, especially for work. Um, but the shimmers, like, can we appreciate all these shimmery colors that are in here? And like this shade right here, Nofi, is just stunning. Otherwise, you guys, that's it for this look. That's it for BoxyCharm unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Until next time, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in my next video.